What's up, blues? It's your girl, Ave. <sighs> oh, oh gosh. Oh, I don't know what happened. It actually uh reminds me of the time that I faked an illness so I could get out of singing gospel music. But uh, just let me explain. What's up, Blues? It's your girl, A.V. If you didn't already know, I am the most popular YouTuber in the DMV, so I've been told. And I'm one of the most theatrical YouTubers in the DMV, so welcome to my channel. Since you guys already read the title of this video, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's talk about how I faked an illness to get out of singing gospel music. Wow. When I was in private school, I had a very tight knit group of friends. There was about four of us. And one of my friends had a birthday party at this place called Frankie's. Frankie's is basically like a kid version of Dave and Buster's just on a much larger scale, like go-karts, laser tag, the whole shebang. My friend who we'll call Fruit Cup had a birthday party at Frankie's. Fruit Cup's dad drives us all the way there. It's about an hour and a half away from our hometown. And her dad played like Christian gospel music the entire way there and the entire way back. Now, that's not an issue. We're all private school kids. It would make sense, you know, her dad playing like gospel music. On the way back, one of the girls who we'll call Chapstick decided, hey, we we should play gospel karaoke. Now this sounds fun, but 2002 AV had literally just shit her pants. The reason why I was so nervous was because I went to like a very old fashioned church. We had hymnals written in like 1776, gotta get away from mass of slaves, spirituals. So I didn't really know like the modern gospel music that they had known. So I knew that I'm not gonna know any of the song. Fruit Cup's dad is in the front co-signing. That's a great idea, girls. I love the fact that the youth of today love to glorify God. I'll put on some music for you. <laughs> I won't try to be the devil or anything. I'm trying to get everybody's mind off of gospel karaoke. So young AV is like, hey guys, don't you want to watch the SpongeBob SquarePants movie instead? SpongeBob what? wasn't I even a do funny that. movie. No. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Bad idea. So it looks like we're doing this. I'm screwed. It's kind of funny that I had that much anxiety back in the day. Wow, I've been fucked up for a really long time. <laughs> So her dad starts going through his playlist and starts finding different gospel songs for every girl to sing. All right, so Fruit Cup sang her song. And since it was her birthday, we followed the birthday code. Birthday code states that birthday bitches go first. So we're just going down the line. Next up is Chapstick. I don't know what the hell she sang, but we gave her like a six. So obviously it wasn't good. Next friend goes, she sings her song. Then it's down to me. I ended up getting the song Revolution by Kirk Franklin. It's a really great gospel song back in the day. Still is, it's a classic. It would have been okay if I would have known more than just one line of the entire song. I only knew do you want a revolution? Woo woo. Do you want a revolution? Woo woo. That's all I knew. And I start to panic and I start to sweat. I could literally feel everybody's eyes on me. And the inner me is thinking, you gotta act like you're sick to get out of this. Just pass out and everything will be fine. And so I did. So everybody's freaking out. Her dad pulls over to what I assume is a gas station. I'm passed out right now. So I ha I can't open my eyes to see like, oh, is he like pulling over on the side of the road? Like, I don't know what's going on. I just know my plan worked. I actually heard Chapstick. She's sweating, she's sweating so hard. But little do they know, it wasn't because I passed out. It was because I had a lot of anxiety and I was literally having an anxiety attack. But uh, they didn't have to know that, it was believable. So after I feel that the car stopped, I wait like a few minutes, pretend like I just can't be woken up. And I start to come to like, oh, what what happened? What's going on? And they're all like, oh my gosh, you were just about to sing. You passed out. We don't know what happened. Oh, really? I did feel a little dizzy. We get back on the road and her dad is like, look girls, y'all had a lot of excitement today. So let's just kind of chill until we get back home. Give your girl an Academy Award. I earned that. I played my role. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've ever had to get out of a sticky situation by lying or doing something crazy, comment below and let me know what it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and once you subscribe, you know, you might as well turn on my notifications to make sure you catch all of my latest videos. Thanks again, you guys stay tight, and I'll see you another late night. Bye! Did you like and